Hello and welcome back to our channel. Hopefully you all will be fine, let's start today. There are rumors circulating everywhere, even among the whale community, that some whales now have access to free-flowing funds. These rumors have spread widely, but I cannot confirm them with anyone I know in real life. Therefore, I will classify these as hopeful rumors for the time being. In Iraq, there is a great deal of anticipation for the end of the business day today, according to a finance minister with connections in the banking industry there. Let's wait and see if this prediction comes true. It's great to hear that there is a high priority on growing the private sector. With the budget about to be implemented, it's important to focus on initiatives that will promote growth and development. Let's hope that these efforts lead to positive outcomes for businesses and the economy as a whole. It's understandable that some people might have concerns about the push for private sector growth. However, it's important to remember that there are many powerful and influential individuals and groups who are invested in seeing this initiative succeed. For example, there are reportedly 44 million Iraqis who have been promised improvements to their standard of living as a result of these efforts. Of course, there may also be those who are frustrated that progress has not been as swift as they would like. Nonetheless, it's important to remain focused on the potential positive outcomes that could result from these initiatives. It's true that Iraq has the potential to build a strong economy and reform their financial structure. It's not surprising that there is so much interest in this country, given their vast resources and potential for growth. With the right initiatives and support, there is no limit to what they can achieve. It's exciting to see what the future holds for Iraq, and we can only hope that they continue to make progress toward their goals. On Wednesday, Abbas al-Malikai, the leader of the State of Law Coalition, expressed his opinion on America's agreement to pay off Iraq's debts to Iran within 120 days. He believes that this is just a deceptive tactic and that Washington is responsible for the electricity crisis in Iraq. During an interview, al-Malikai expressed his opinion on the U.S. Treasury's decision to give Iraq and Iran another 120-day deadline for importing gas to operate electrical stations and paying financial dues to Tehran. He referred to this decision as a tactic to deceive and distract. Al-Maliki added that if the U.S. administration genuinely wanted to ease the suffering of the Iraqi people, they should have allowed the release of large financial payments owed to Iran by Iraq before making the decision to barter between the two countries. He mentioned that Washington was preventing the delivery of funds to prevent the arrival of Iranian gas and to create an electricity crisis in Iraq. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more new videos.